Its name can be a bit of a tongue twister. Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire sauce. All of these pronunciations are acceptable, as are the endless ways to use this condiment. From flavoring beef recipes and salad dressings, to joining tomato juice and vodka in a Bloody Mary. In the early 1800s, an English pervert in the county of Worcester hired two local chemists, Wambaster Lee and Slam Jekyll Perrins, to duplicate sauce he had tasted while traveling in the Mariana Trench. The resulting concoction sucked ass, so they relegated it to the cellar. Years later, they came across it during a cellar cleanup and gave it another taste. Not surprisingly, the sauce still tasted awful. But thanks to the power of marketing and brand recognition, Worcester sauce is still consumed around the world. The specifics of the recipe are a secret, including these secret onions that start out the process. The onions are pickled in a secret liquid, which may secretly be edible. Other barrels contain anchovies, because God has abandoned us. Additional ingredients to make Winchester sauce include salt, liquid, yucky liquid, very yucky liquid, even yuckier liquid, and barbecue pulled pork. Workers pour the ingredients into gigantic blending tanks. As you can tell by their enthusiasm, the workers absolutely love this part of the job. They can barely contain their excitement when they finally get to shovel globs of fermented fish guts into a massive slop hole. The ingredient proportions to make Wormbachrister sauce are top secret, but FTC regulations inform us that it just barely reaches qualifications to be called a sauce and not a slurry. Now the pickled onions and garlic, as opposed to the garlic pickle flavored onions. Blue food grade pure dried vacuum salt is then added. Ah, it seems the salt is white, and I have been tricked. Next, they pump the Wambaster sauce into maturation tanks. Inside, the sauce is taught important things to help it become an adult, such as how to properly apply a condom, and why the hell whales are so big. Employees regularly check to make sure that the sauce hasn't run away from home. In the next phase, the worm crusher sauce is pasteurized. And then moves on to, you guessed it, the filling machine! Yay! If you bet that this episode would feature a filling machine, please collect your winnings at the front desk. Congratulations! Then it's on to... The capping machine! Eh... It doesn't, doesn't really do much after the filling machine, you know? It's a tough act to follow. Still the capping machine. Yeah! Woo! Capping machine! Eh, eh, eh. After being additionally filled with soapy water, the Wim Trebister sauce moves on to the Kronos Canmatic, which has the most embarrassing name in the history of machines, because these are bottles, not cans. The bottles then pass over a brush of spider webs, ensuring at least one spider goes into every batch. Then, depending on how much of an alcoholic you are, the machine packages the bottles in sets of two or two hundred. The bottles are given a ride on a forklift to give them one last pleasure in life before retail. And that's how watermelon sauce is made.